Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex from Not Casuals, and uh, today we're gonna f do chapter 11. Um, in this chapter, you're gonna see a lot of yetis. Uh, make sure that they don't grab you, because um, they're just gonna eat you and it's a one-hit kill. So make sure to put barriers uh, every time you can to uh, split them off of you. It's just like any, like a Nolgar, I guess, but they're much faster. Uh, although if you're quick enough, if they grab you, you can always teleport out of their hands, but it's kind of risky, but you can do it. Alright, so we do go down this little slope here to find uh, the invisibility spell. I'm usually not gonna get it for this to, um, playthrough, but um, I felt like tr giving it a try in a particular scene, and we're gonna see how it goes. Alright, so here to open the door, just spit fire everywhere. And uh, Shazam! The door will open shortly. Boom! Alright. Um, yeah, in this chapter, we're gonna be skipping a lot of, th of stuff, so pay attention where I teleport and stuff, and it's gonna save you a lot of time. A lot of time. Alright, so just make sure you're aced and dodge this uh, Yeti, and uh, teleport through this uh, Beholder. And just zone in, and uh, we're done with this little zone. All right, here we're gonna have some priests, uh, some dwarfs, and a dwarf priest. And, um, they're not too happy, but uh, we say fuck them, and just teleport there and zoom. Uh, we're not gonna get the summon elemental spell that was hitting over there, hiding, hidden, whatever, over there, but um, because we don't need it for this playthrough. But if you need it, if you want it, you can go and get it. So basically here uh, the entire dwarf army is supposed to come out of this door and honestly there's a lot of mobs of monsters. Uh, you can kill them if you want, I mean it's not very hard, it's like a corridor so just put some rocks and um, and beam them. It's pretty easy. Or you can hide in that room that Vlad just told you to. I was gonna try and um, cast invisibility but for some reason invisibility didn't seem to work. I'm not sure if it's bugged or if I just got hit too early. Doesn't matter, I just ran through and teleported inside. Uh, hopefully it's going to be smo smoother for you. <laughs> this is not exactly the perfect scenario, but at least I didn't die, so it's, it's alright. Alright, so this is the lava room. Uh, lots of mob, lots of lava. I'm not going to kill much here though, I'm just going to teleport through, teleport through. Take the checkpoint here in case you would die. Alright, so uh, once you're somewhat safe, start casting ice and shift right click to uh, so that the lava will get frozen for a short amount of time. And uh, here you just cast teleport. Or try to cast teleport. <laughs> Alright, I was heading that way but then I remembered uh, there was a different shortcut even faster than this so I went that way. And uh, yeah, teleport there, keep teleporting like a little ninja because we all know that ninjas can teleport, right? All right. So uh, move on, keep dodging everything, put some rocks to slow them down. Uh, time to freeze more lava. By the way, the lava can be unfrozen, so uh, if you stay there too long, you will die and fall into lava unless you refreeze it. So be careful of, uh, of this little place, it's kind of dangerous. Alright, so once we're here, just teleport across this little lava pool. And uh, get inside that little, well, big room actually. And uh, we're at the boss already! Ooh! Alright, so, um. He's not, he's not small, he's a big dragon. But uh, he's a big wuss though. <laughs> so basically, a few of his attacks, he's gonna. Like 50% of the time, he's gonna shoot you a fireball. I'm gonna let him speak first, I'll explain after. He has an amazing voice too. Alright, so basically what you want to be is aced at least and put a barrier. The first spell is usually a fireball. So you block the fireball and then you beam his uh, stomach, his belly. And the second beam is a... Uh, uh, actually the second spell is a beam, so you have to dodge this. So run around and make sure you're aced. This is probably gonna kill you if you stay around. Uh, 
Well, yeah, when you're too close to his face, it's gonna spit fire on you, like he just did to me, because I was too close. But, um, it's not a big deal, just go back up there, heal up, put your fire immune, and beam his belly. Um, see, now I'm doing too much damage to him, and the, uh, the triggers are kinda glitchy, I guess, I don't know, it's... It's just changing phase without him attacking me, so it's very easy if you do a lot of damage. And now he's... I don't know what he's doing. I'm supposed to be hitting his belly one last time. There you go. And now we have uh, Vlad telling us not to kill him and stuff. Because our communication skills suck! <laughs> so, um... Yeah, he's explaining, explaining his situation. And uh, we're gonna get be sent back in time to be able to kill the big bad guy. All right, Samba's back already. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. This was Alex from Not Casuals. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe. See ya in the last chapter of Magica.